Looks like we'll kick off 2022 with some snow on the ground, but we do have one more dry night ahead. Uh, temperatures have dropped from our high temperature of 44 degrees today in the low 30s at this hour in Lincoln, sitting at 31 degrees, 31 in Wahoo, slightly warmer along the Missouri River. Temperatures in the mid 30s out that way. 34 degrees in Beatrice, 30 in Hebron. We do have one location, Kearney, uh, in the upper 20s at this hour. Their temperature 28 degrees. Clear skies overhead right now. It was a pretty day across southeast Nebraska pretty sunset which occurred just over an hour ago. Uh, no clouds to see on satellite and radar imagery. Stormcast verifies this as you go into the overnight hours. We're anticipating mostly clear skies to stick around. Although this run of Stormcast doesn't show it real well, I do think it's possible that we could see a few low clouds in the overnight hours, but still mostly clear overall. When the clouds do arrive, uh, yeah, that's tomorrow afternoon and they'll continue to increase throughout the afternoon, especially in the evening. Mostly cloudy skies late tomorrow afternoon, and especially in the evening hours. We see that on Stormcast here. All of Nebraska by 8 o'clock covered with clouds, even some snow starting to start uh, in the western part of the state. Moving eastward as we head towards midnight, uh, approaching the Tri-Cities around that time. I think as we're ringing in the new year, uh, we probably won't be seeing snow in Lincoln. It'll probably be after midnight, but as we get towards the wee hours of the morning and especially early Saturday morning, that's when the snow will start to fall and it could be rather heavy at times, especially south of Interstate 80. We could be looking at snowfall rates to, uh, Saturday morning in the ballpark of one inch or, or slightly higher per hour. You might notice some of these pinks in the far southeast corner of the state in Pawnee and Richardson County. When the snow starts, it's possible that there may be a sleep pellet or two mixed in, but it'll quickly change over to snow. Everywhere else is just expecting snow for the entirety of the event. Heavy snow lasting through about lunchtime on Saturday. We're expecting snow to continue into the afternoon before it tapers off uh, in the evening hours. Here's what we know about the weekend snowstorm at this particular point in time. The highest snow totals or accumulations will be in southeast Nebraska. The farther south you go, the higher the totals are likely to be, and wind gusts will likely be approaching 35 upwards of 40 miles per hour as we go uh, Friday night and into Saturday. So there could be some blowing snow that reduces visibilities. Travel is just not going to be fun on Saturday overall. And just keep this in mind. The forecast is subject to change. Snow forecasts are very sensitive to small changes in atmospheric parameters. So uh, keep checking back for the forecast uh, even tonight 10 o'clock because we may have to bump up snow totals based off this afternoon and evening's model runs. Here's what we're thinking right now. Two to five inches in this light blue color colored area right here, but again, the farther south and east you go, the greater the snow totals, perhaps five to eight inches down towards Beatrice, Fairbury, and Hebron. Stay tuned for 10 o'clock tonight as I will have an updated snow accumulation map. In addition to the snow, it'll also be cold. Nine degrees are high temperature on New Year's Day, 21 on Sunday. When you factor in the wind, it is going to feel darn cold. Uh, Note this line right here. That's the zero degree wind chill line or the feels like temperature all the way from late Friday night and early Saturday through Sunday afternoon. Wind chill values will be below zero degrees, finally getting above zero degrees as we go in towards Sunday afternoon. So dangerous cold conditions there. For tonight, 19 degrees, mostly clear, maybe some low clouds. That's just about it. But tomorrow afternoon, that's our transition day. 33 degrees, our high temperature tomorrow with some snow arriving late. Uh, late Friday night for communities farther west, but more likely after midnight in the capital city. 9 degrees, our high temperature on Saturday. Snowy and windy to ring in the new year. 21, cold on Sunday. At least we'll have some sunshine rising above freezing on Monday. And then by the time we get towards the middle part of next week, looks like we'll have another disturbance. Could bring us some snow showers and that should drop our temperatures for the second half of next week. All right.